In this Chief Architect Roof Design Seminar, I'm going to go through the steps in creating an automatic roof. Then we'll look at how to change that roof by changing the settings in the individual walls. And then we're going to go through and look at different roof settings for changing the roof structure. And then I'm going to manually create a flat roof. The end result of the roof for the seminar will look like this, where I have a smaller pitched roof over the garage area at a quarter inch. And then over the kitchen area, we're going to create a shed style roof that is at a 2 and 12 pitch. Let me begin the seminar with the automatic roof and then we'll get into the process of how to create this flat style roof. I'm going to begin the roof seminar with the automatic roof tools. Chief Architect has a set of automatic roof tools that will allow you to build a variety of roofs. Inside of the build menu, underneath the build roof option, you'll see these different roof styles that you can build. Each one of these that you click on will show you the different help components. Typically the different roof styles are changed by the underlying wall properties. Let's begin building the roof from the roof panel. Now I'm going to choose the option for automatic build roofs. I've already set the pitch at 6 and 12. My overhang and the other defaults are fairly typical out of the box. As the default 6 and 12 hip roof is built, the automatic roof directives can be set by individual walls. Notice when I select this wall, there is a setting down in the lower edit menu that I can easily toggle this to a full gable roof. Now what's happening behind the scenes, if I were to open up the properties of this wall by double clicking on it, on the roof panel, it actually is checking this option for the full gable roof. You can toggle it back by opening up the wall and changing it, or by just toggling it on and off down here. Now there are several other settings in the wall properties for the roof. You can see each one of those in the help menu from the build roof. You can actually see the details of how to change the roof styles on a per wall basis. I'm going to go ahead and press undo and I'm going to show you the steps involved in creating a flat style roof. It's also going to be easier to draw these roof panels in our 2D plan view. In my plan view, I've isolated those layers that I want to see by changing my layer set to the roof plan set. Before I begin drawing any manual roof planes, I want to go into the build roof options and set some parameters. The first setting that I'm going to change is the roof pitch. I'm going to set that to be 2 and 12. For the roof trusses, I always leave that unchecked regardless if I'm going to use a truss or engineered lumber. It gives me more flexibility when I raise it off the plate. My roof overhang at 16 inches is fine, and I do have the roof raised off plate for an energy heel to get the insulation between the plate and the bottom of the roof. On the roof structure panel, I'm going to make some changes. For the structure itself, I'm going to change that from a 2 by 12 to 21 inches. I'm going to match that for the end individual framing components down in this section at 21 inches and then for the fascia we'll extend that to an inch to 22 inches and then my blocking at 21 inches. Once I have all the roof defaults set up I'm going to close this dialog. I'm going to show you a trick that I use to create a flat roof and creating a template that I can snap to. I'm going to click very near the outside of the wall. In Chief Architect, this is known as the exterior room. Notice the gray highlight. I'm going to come down to the lower edit menu, and there's a tool called Make Room Molding Polyline. And I'm going to use this as a template. I'm going to concentrically resize this to be 16 inches. That will match the roof overhang that I want to do. Let's go into our preferences, and let's set our concentric resize. On the preference panel, underneath edit behaviors, underneath the concentric parameter, I'm going to put in 16 inches. However, my wall thickness beyond the stud includes plywood and siding that equate to an inch and a quarter. Therefore, I'm going to subtract that inch and a quarter from the 16 inches, which will result in a concentric resize of 14 and 3 quarters inches. Notice that I'm not going to change my edit type to concentric because I'm going to show you a shortcut because this is typically not something I'm going to leave on. I like to leave it on the default. With the polyline selected, I'm going to move my cursor over the corner. I'm going to hold the letter C down, which is a shortcut for concentric. While holding the C down on my keyboard, I'm going to pull this out and it will actually bump in those 16 inch or 14 and 3 quarter increments. That way it's easy to resize this and it's going to give me a template that I can snap my roof to. I now want to use my temporary dimensions and create this template. I first must go in and set my temporary dimensions so that it will recognize CAD objects. If you see in this area right here, it's not picking up the walls itself. Inside of my default settings, I'm going to make some adjustments to my temporary dimensions. So one, it will recognize the wall dimension layer, and two, it will recognize CAD objects. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and make some changes. Let's pull this guideline in a little bit. That way we can select the dimension, 
I'm going to put in 16 inches and then I can kind of pull this around. I know that this is going to be parallel with this other line and then I'm going to also pull this up into that area since that deck wall is slightly at a different dimension and then on the porch area I'm going to extend this to be five foot six put in five foot six in here now I have two roof areas the first roof component is a 2 and 12 pitch in this area I'm going to draw one more CAD box temporarily and I'm going to come over here I'm going to snap it on and just come down into here I'm going to use this as a template for that upper roof to reshape this, I'm going to use the break tool. You'll find this in the bottom edit menu. You can also press number three on your keyboard as a shortcut to break this and shape it around the area for this roof template. I'm going to create a break right in this area over here and I'm going to pull this back. Again, using my temporary dimensions, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put this overhang at 16 inches in that area right here. And then I'm going to make an adjustment so that it comes out past this wall. Again, we'll set this to be 16 inches. And then for the most part, I have the template that I need and I'm going to actually just trace over this so it'll be a little more clear when we now change the color of this template. So I'm going to use the line tool, press L on my keyboard and I'm going to just create a line right over the top of this area right in here so that it's a little more crisp on what we're doing. Now I'm going to delete the other section that we created and let's go ahead and turn our polyline and this line to be a brighter color so we can see exactly what we're doing as we begin our roof process. On the line style let's go ahead and just choose to be a bright color that will stand out and then we'll also pull this line back so that it snaps in over in this area right in here. Now the final thing I want to do is I want to make a few roof adjustments. I'm going to pull this back, snap it onto the other point, kind of work our way around and I think that works Works pretty good as a roof template. So again this section right in here will be 2 and 12 and this section over here will be at a quarter inch and 12. One final edit to this template. Let's pull this back inside of the deck edge. I'll zoom in a little bit and I'm going to set this to be 16 inches. I now have the template that I need to start drawing the roof. Inside of my roof tools let's go ahead and choose our roof plane. I'm going to come in this area right in here and I'm going to click along the outside of the wall and then I'm going to click upslope. I've now generated the roof plane using the directives that we put into the roof properties earlier and now I can select this roof and use this guideline to snap to. So I'm just going to come around pull this to the guideline and it makes it really easy to then shape this. I'm going to press number three on the keyboard. I'm going to create a break right in this area, snap it to the guideline one more break over here. And I purposely did that off the lines to just show you you don't have to be exact when you break that. We'll pan up, pull this to the guideline on this side, press number three on the keyboard, put another break right in here, and now I've created that roof plane. Let's go over to 3D and take a look. So you can see in 3D we've created the 2 and 12 pitched roof. Notice that some of our walls are incomplete because I haven't drawn this shallower pitch over here. As soon as I do that, our attic walls will then fill in and populate. Let's go back into the floor plan and draw the more shallow roof pitch. Now for the second roof, let's use the same steps. I'm going to grab the roof plane tool. I'll come over here on the outside of this wall, click up slope, and I'm actually going to come into this wall intersection right in here. Before I do too much editing, I want to change the pitch of this roof. And as I do that, it needs to pivot around the baseline height. I don't want to change that. So I'm going to make sure that this is locked. And then I'm going to come in and put in a quarter inch for the slope. Now a little bit of busy work. I'm going to pull the roof plane out to our template, press number three on the keyboard, put a few breaks in here, and adjust the roof accordingly. Again, I can use the break on the keyboard, pull that in, and snap it to the guideline. I'll go ahead and speed this up and finish the roof up. All right, let's return back to the 3D view and take a look. And you'll notice that our attic walls went ahead and finished and filled in when we created the roof structure in here. And all I have to do is open up the library and place the windows in this elevated attic wall and then in this story in here. And also I want to remove the ceiling out. To remove the ceiling out of the room, I'll select the room, open it up, and on the structure panel, I'm going to come in and remove the flat ceiling. I'll make sure that I've used the soffit for the ceiling surface. I'm going to do the same thing in the stairway, remove the flat ceiling out of it, make sure that the soffit surface is being used for the ceiling. Back over in the 3D view, I'm going to open up the library. I've saved some windows into my library. I'm going to grab the attic windows, come over here, place these. Actually, I have two sets, so grab this set over here. I'll grab the rear gable windows 
and come over and place those in that area. Close the library. And then as I zoom back out, you can see our completed roof structure. And we've created a flat shed roof very easily by using that template that was a pretty quick way. I had also explored curving this roof by opening up the roof plane and marking that it's a curved roof at the ridge setting it to be zero. But I wasn't very thrilled with the way that looked. But you can see in the screen how quickly it is to curve and shape your roof. Go ahead and press undo and get back to the regular shed style flat roof. Well that concludes this roof design seminar. I began the seminar with the automatic roof. Anytime you can use the automatic roof to create your structure, it's the fastest way you can open up individual walls and change roof properties for those walls. And then also in the roof dialog you can set various settings for the structure and then manual roof planes give you very flexible options for very unique roofs. And in the video that I used, a template that made it very easy to snap to it, I used the exterior room, made a polyline out of it. I concentrically resized that to the amount of the roof overhang and then I used that template to snap to the roof. It made it very fast. Well, thanks for watching the Lake Point Roof Design Seminar.